Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we are going to do on this export potential of this Indian spices. So uh, there was a rise in the Indian spice, okay? So um, so we're going to talk about the current status of this uh, export in the spices in India, as well as we're going to cover uh, all the other important topics under this whole agriculture export. Um, through MCQs and we'll also try to solve them, okay guys? Uh, my name is Hansa Nora Sangma and I've done my bachelor's in horticulture and I've also done my post-graduation in uh, nematology and agriculture. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and you can also press the bell icon for further notifications from our channel and uh, if you've liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button in the end and do share with your friends who is giving the exam as well, okay? Um, all right, so first slide we're here. We have on the export in the Indian spices. Okay, so guys one thing that you guys need to remember here is that this Indian spice export has been an increase Okay, when we come for this year on June 2020 when we compared it to the uh, previous year Which was on July 2019 June 2019. Okay guys, so there has been an rose or increase of about 23% so this is very important try to remember jot it down okay guys and this was in terms of the US dollars of about three three hundred and fifty nine million okay so if you convert it into the uh, Indian Korean rupees then we have about two thousand six hundred and ninety crore rupees okay so it was in the June for this year and when we compare it to the last year which was about 292 million dollars right so when we converted into this domestic currency which is an indian currency then it rose by 34 percent okay guys and in, uh, but in the u.s dollars it was about 23 percent and the country's export right so this is not particularly for the indian spices okay so this is for the general so the country's export in june they about stood about 21.91 billion okay and when we compare it to last year which was about 25.01 billion so we can see that there was a decrease in the export okay so the decrease was about 12.41 percent right guys so these are something about the indian uh, status of the current indian spice exports okay so there was an increase in the indian spices but overall there was a decrease in the in the country's export Right, so uh, let's move on with the question series. So we're going to solve all the questions uh, important, which are very important for the exam. And we'll try to solve all of them and some questions I'll be asking you guys. So you'll have to comment in the comment section. Okay, guys. So, okay. Uh, our first question here. Uh, when was the agriculture export policy introduced in India? So number A is 2000, 2007. Number B says 2011. Number C is 2018. And number D is 2015. And number E is 2019 okay so the right answer for this is c okay it was introduced in december 2018 okay guys remember this so this policy the mainly the main aim of this policy is at doubling the uh, agriculture exports from 30 billion usd to 60 billion us okay dollars so um, they wanted to double the agriculture export so that is the main aim all right and another thing is that this vision of the agriculture export is to harness the export potential of the indian agriculture through sustainable through policy instruments as well as to make india global a power in an agriculture as well as to raise the farmers income Okay, so these are all interlinked. So these are the main vision and aim of this agriculture export policy, right, guys? So uh, one thing here, we're gonna not, uh, talk about the objectives of the agriculture export policy. So here we have about one, two, three, four. We have around six objectives. So we're gonna talk about these objectives. Okay. So the first thing here is that you need to remember is the um, first objective is to double the agriculture exports right so they want to double the agriculture exports which means that around right now it's around at 25 between 30 billion uh, us dollars right so they want to double it so it's going to be uh, around 60 billion dollars uh, by the year of 2022 okay remember so by the year of 2022 they want to double it by around 60 billion dollars okay and they also want to reach about about 100 billion dollars in the next few years and thereby they want to be uh, with a suitable uh, trade policy regime as well uh, another point here the second point here is on to diversify the export baskets right so uh to 
they wanted to diversify uh, the country's export basket, the destinations, as well as to boost the high value, as well as the value-added agriculture exports, including uh, they also want to focus on the perishables as well, not only on the non-perishables, but also on the perishables. So they want to export all this perishable commodities under agriculture, okay? And then uh, third one, um, third one here is to provide the institutional mechanism okay so they also want to provide this institutional mechanism for pursuing the market access uh, they also want to take tackle the barriers and the problems that they're facing and also deal with mostly the most important sanitary and phytosanitary issues as well okay so uh, another point here is on um, they promote the novel indigenous organic ethnic traditional as well as non-traditional agriculture products so they want to go for a more of an indigenous uh, to more of like portray the culture as well as the tradition of india so they want to make it very indigenous a very novel one uh, organic ethnic traditional as well as it can also call uh, for out for the non-traditional agriculture export products okay uh, now the fifth one here is that to strive to in the uh, to double in the share in the uh, global uh, agriculture export so here and they also want to increase or double the Indus share in the world agriculture export by integ in, uh, integrating with uh, more of a global value a chain. And uh, another point, last point here is to enable the farmers to get a benefit of the uh, export opportunities in the overseas market okay so they want to enable the farmers of india in the rural setup or all, all the farmers all over the country to get the benefit from all of these export opportunities in the market outside of india okay guys so these are some of the main objectives of the uh, agriculture uh, export policy okay and remember it was introduced in india on the year of 29 2018 in december okay i hope this is clear and now let's move on to another slide which of the following was the top exporter in spices in terms of value so you need to select the top expo uh, exporting spice amongst all this okay and that is also in terms of value okay so the options given here are number a is chili number b is pepper C is turmeric, D is cardamom, number E is acetophetida. So acetophetida is hing, okay guys? Uh, right, so the right answer for this is chili. So chili is the high, most valued exporter spices in the country, okay? So this was during financial year of 2019, the top, uh, I've given the top 10 exported uh, spices in terms of the value, okay? So the first one here is chili. We have mint products, we have spices and oily resins. Uh, we also have cumin, turmeric, pepper, curry powder, paste, uh, as well as the cardamom seeds. And we also have other spices like tamarind, acetophetida, and cassia, as well as in the garlic. So these are the top 10 exported spices, uh, which are high in terms of their value. Okay, so one thing you guys need to remember here again is that the chili is also the major spice crop which occupy about 29% of area under cultivation. Okay guys, so this statement is very very important. So remember this, chili is a major spice crop. They produce about 29% of the area under cultivation and they also contribute about 34% of the total spice production in the country. Okay, so last year this uh, in this Chile export is stood at about 468,500 tons, okay? So these are some of the facts on the chili. So try to remember all these important facts. These are very important, okay? Um, another point. Now the question here is which of the following is the highest spice producing state in the country? Okay, so the options given here are uh, A, Kerala, we have B, Maharashtra, number C is Rajasthan, number D is Andhra Pradesh, number E is Tamil Nadu. Okay guys, so the, uh, for this question, I would like you all to uh, answer in the comment section. Okay, drop it in the comment section if you guys have any ideas. This is a very uh, fair, easy question, straightforward question. So I'm guessing all of you guys might be able to answer this question, okay? So drop it in the comment section so that I'll be able to know, okay guys? All right, so um, la, uh, next question is, Spice Board of India, that comes under which of the following ministry? 
Okay, so uh, number A is Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Number B is Ministry of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution. Number C is Ministry of Commerce and Industries. And number D says Ministry of Food Processing Industries. Number E is none of the above. Okay, guys. So um, the right answer for this is Ministry of Commerce and Industries. So you might get confused with the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare, but this Vice Board of India, it comes under the Ministry of Commerce and Industries, okay? So this Vice Board of, uh, which is under the Ministry of Commerce and Industry, they, it is a basically flagship organization for the development and worldwide promotion of the Indian spices, right? So this board, the headquarter, so the things that you guys need to remember about this board is the, the ministry, okay, as well as the headquarter. So the headquarter is on in Kochi, which is in Kerala, okay guys? And we also have when it was established. So uh, it was established or constituted in the year of 1987. This was under the Spice Board Act, which was of 1986. So, okay, so they also want to, uh, with the responsibility of the production and development of the cardamom and export promotion of 52 spices shown in this uh, schedule act of the schedule of the act. Okay, so uh, another point that they do is that it also provides quality control and certification, register exporters, documents, trade information, as well as the provides inputs to the central government policy matters okay so these are some of the activities that this um, spice board they do okay guys and they also um they also these the board also they participate in major international trade fairs as well as in the food exhibitions to promote the indian uh, spice apart from organizing various domestic uh, events okay so these are some of the activities that this spice board do okay guys so uh next slide we're going to talk about the summary of this whole thing that we have learned today okay so we're going to learn a bit more extra but it's going to be a more like a summary okay uh, the india is also the largest producer world's largest producer in terms of spices consumer as well as exporter okay so the country produces of about 75 out of 109 varieties which was listed by the international organization for standardization which is also known as iso right and they account for half of the global trading in spices okay guys and the first the second point that you guys need to remember is that the top 10 importers of indian spices in the financial year of 2019 which was last year were u.s okay and we also have china and vietnam we also have hong kong uh, we also have bangladesh thailand uk uae but i think it's very important to just remember the top three okay and the uh, for the financial year of 2020 we the spice worth of about 3.65 billion they were exported so in, in the financial year of 20 till uh, december 2019 the ginger they also showed an export of highest growth of 47 percent with about 19,410 uh, tons which was followed by cardamom with 31 percent and we have cumin with 40 percent okay so these are some of the things that you guys need to remember okay and uh, during these year as well last year financial year there was a total of 1.10 mil million tons of spices which was produced and spice products valued of about 2.8 billion dollars so they were all exported from the country and uh, when it was compared to the last year it was about 1.02 million tons around 2.78 billion it was in the financial year of 2018 okay so there was an increase in about 7%, but this is not really important. I think for this year, there was about, uh, in spices, there were the, the, as it was shown, there was an increase about 23%. So that's a huge uh, increase, right? So, so these are some of the things that you guys need to remember under this export potential of spices. Okay, I hope today's lecture was fruitful. I hope it was productive and I hope that you guys had learned something new. And I maybe it might be a revision for some of you guys, but I hope that it was helpful for all of you. Okay guys, so that's all for today. And uh, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and you can also press the bell icon for further notifications. And if you've liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and do share with your friends. And we'll meet again tomorrow with another topic right so till then take care and study hard and thank you so much